G'day, it's Bob here again and today I'm going to give you a demonstration of this new Bluetooth ring tester which I have just made. Okay, the first thing to show you is how it works or the principle it works on. Um, here we have my old gold star oscilloscope and the tester here. This one doesn't have a row of LEDs, it's got a digital display. At the moment it is ring testing this little toroid here which came out of a power supply and you can see that it is ringing the counter says it's 97 times it's ringing okay this is what happens when you have a shorted turn there's a piece of solder there going through the toroid hope you can see this when you short the turn this is what happens nothing very easy to tell if there's a shorted turn in an inductor like that I will now proceed to show you what it does with a bit of a selection of inductors of type, various different types and tell you a bit about it. The first thing to tell you about this is that really it's an evolution of the blue ring tester which has been on the market for a very long time since it evolved from the old Dick Smith Electronics uh, ring tester. This one here is much more sensitive than the other one and it lets the ringing occur for a much longer time so it's applicable to a much wider range of uh, inductors uh, this one's got a polypropylene capacitor for uh, resonating the inductors to reduce the losses and it will produce sensible results on nearly anything it's powered by two AA cells which can be rechargeable if you want them to be rechargeable types uh, it'll switch itself off after five minutes of no use it's got a low battery warning and like all my other little gadgets it's got a single push button control when it's sitting there idly at the moment it's um, got that little whirly gig pattern just to draw attention to the fact that it's switched on all right let's see what it does on a range of inductors you've already seen this toroid here so let's see this is a little IF can or something out of a transistor radio. You wouldn't expect that to resonate much, but uh, actually it does. So, 20 rings. This is the little test inductor for the old Dick Smith Electronics uh, ring tester. And this rings a surprising number of times if I can get the clip leads on. It's actually resonating over 70 times where the a blue ring tester that's around at the moment only says 8 which shows how much more sensitive this thing is um, here's a transformer out of a old electronic flash gun little ferrite cord transformer its Q is very high as you can see and little old RF choke out of something 15 um, another little toroid wound on iron powder core 22 okay now the important thing is that I mainly want this to be used for testing iron cord transformers like you would find in tube amplifiers valve amplifiers as we call them down under uh, and also power transformers, mains transformers. Unfortunately, all I've got at the moment that, that's available is these, uh, what you call wall warts, which have uh, iron cord transformers in them. So here's one, which rings ten times. If it had a shorted turn, it would probably not ring at all. And here's a bigger one. Rings twenty times. Once again, oh, I've made a label here that says if it's less than five, um, most likely you've encountered a shorted turn. I hope this little demonstration has been educational to you. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video. Bye bye.